Man, we have been waiting for a bite. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, that's big. Yep, yep, yep. Slow, lift, just slow. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, oh, Sam, oh my goodness! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Jay Siemens, and uh, I like to make ice fishing videos. And today, we are going ice fishing. We are waiting for my beautiful wife, Sam, and we're doing something hardcore today. We're going camping on the ice. Yes, we could come back and sleep in our house, in our beds, which would probably be a lot less work, but would it be less fun? Well, I do really like sleeping in my bed. Do you like sleeping in your own bed? Do I like sleeping in my own bed? Yeah. Yes, I like sleeping in my own bed. Are you looking, have you slept on the ice before? No. Are you looking forward to this? It was easier when you could sleep on the ice and I could go home for the night yeah. in the safety of my house. But yeah, it'll be fun. All right guys, quick little announcement before we get to the fishing. We're doing another giveaway. We're actually giving away two prizes this time. I'm so thankful for you guys. For We're a community for you guys, all the comments, for watching the videos. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I wanna give back to you guys. So we got two prizes this time and you're, you're probably entered already, which is awesome. But if you're not, it is super, super easy to enter. All you gotta do is make sure you're subscribed and make sure your subscriptions are public. If you go to the privacy settings, you can make sure they're public. We're giving one prize to my American friends, one prize to my Canadian friends. To my American friends, we're giving away a Buddy Flex cooker and heater. You've seen me use this before. Awesome new product from Mr. Heater. It's got the cooker, it's got the heater. I love it, I love it. So one lucky winner is me getting one of those. On the Canadian side, I'm giving away a huge canvas, a 40 by 30 print of one of my photographs. You can choose the photo and you'll have a piece of art to hang on your wall or sell or whatever you wanna do with it. But anyways, guys, all you gotta do is subscribe. Thank you so much for the support. Next time you see us, we are gonna be on the ice. Oh yeah, and a winner's gonna get picked a week from today. See you guys in a bit. All right, we got uh, Sam jigging, we got two iFish Pro set. I might jig as well. Um, we're gonna, I'm probably gonna set up camp right now or pretty soon. Um, as far as iFish Pros go, I've been asked like why, when choose an iFish Pro, when choose a tip up or, or jaw jacker. I love the iFish Pro because you can obviously fight the fish on the rod, which is the same as the jaw jacker. The jaw jacker automatically sets the hook. We're, we're hoping for bigger walleye. So, you know, using bigger baits, I want that fish to take it a little bit. So that's why with iFish Pro, it, it triggers that flag and the fish can swim away with it. So we're gonna kind of pack down the area where we want to set up camp. In the slush, it swivels like an office chair. Isn't that fun? I love it. Throw me. That is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, we're still looking for our first bite. We are now set up. I've really been giving you guys updates. It took quite a while to set up. We are set up on hopefully a fishy spot. I mean, we'll see. Going pretty good how this all turned out. <gasps> what, what? Yeah, yeah, reel up, reel up to it. That's a huge mark. He's busy grabbing Sam some food. Yeah, a couple big pops. Oh man, is that a big mark? Just pound on the spot a little bit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lift it. There's another fish on the bottom. This is good. That fish slowed down. Okay, drop it down to the bottom. This is good, there's activity, it's prime time guys. It is like 4.30, I think sunset was 4.25 or something. So like this next hour is just crucial, key. Play, 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 play. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. come on, that. It's go time, it's go time, it's pulling line. I think it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. False alarm. False alarm. Jeez Louise. All right, so we had our first flag. That was our first uh, confirmed bite. It didn't shower the minnow, so it could have been a small fish just pulling it or who knows. Ice camping pro tip. <laughs> Pre-make pasta salad and bring it along. <laughs> Keeps well, stays cold, delicious. And 
makes you think that it's summertime. <laughs> I am a queen. Thank you, sir. I feel like I'm on an operating table. With that light? With the light and this hard bed. And... <clears throat> so, on this rod, this is the True Grit 38 medium. Definitely a great big walleye rod. We have the medium sized dinner bell, 3 16th ounce. I'm not sure what the color is actually called, but it's like a white and purple glow. This one has a smaller tungsten jig with a live minnow on. Is that the smoke show? Smoke show. Smoke show, sorry. And then the two out there are both drenches, 39 uh, medium light, and they both have live minnows with split shots on, on iFish Pros. So that's our spread. We're kind of spreading out over this point, and hopefully the fish are gonna slide out of the deep deeps and a little shallower tonight. Yes, yes, slippers and fishing. Slipper power! <laughs> Big fish, big fish, come on the right. Here, take this. That is what I expect a big walleye to look like. I'm gonna keep zooming in for you guys. Oh, baby. Oh, you want yours? <sighs> baby. Hold a little bit lower. Yeah, just hold it there. Pop it on the spot a little bit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look how big he is. Oh no. Pound in the mud. Drop it down to the mud. Like your, yeah, let it out if you need to. Yeah. Pound in the mud hard. I'm scared. That's what we wanted right there. That was a big Mondo walleye. All right, so we forgot butter. We forgot oil. We did not forget either of those things. I did. <laughs> oh, grab it, grab it. No, it's fine, it's just gonna go. You can see a piece of bacon sinking down in the live scope, so I'm just dropping down the hole. I didn't mean to. As you know, I probably have mentioned it many times before, but I love Frank's. I'm sorry about the audio in here. It's probably real loud right now. They got thick Frank's sauce. This is buffalo and ranch. I'm quite excited about this. You got your burger. You got your bacon. You need a little bit of this new thick sauce. Buffalo ranch, bacon, venison burger. Wow, that was so good. Show the camera what you're doing. Show them what you have in your hand. So today I got three, three dollar scratch sure, tickets. And this video better go viral if I win $260,000. That would be pretty funny actually. We don't normally buy scratch tickets. I do not condone buying scratch tickets. I think it's one of the worst ways to spend money. And I think that you actually have A gambling gene because you don't even care to play the scratch ticket game I just scan it you just want to know if you want well that's because the games have nothing to do with your skill they're called instant wins like you could scratch it doesn't make any difference on how you play it sure but <clears throat> that's gambling too <laughs> No, because I like Texas Hold'em. I don't like slots because slots are completely random. I like Texas Hold'em because you can actually be skilled at it. You can't be skilled uh, at slots. You can't be skilled at cra scratch cards, right? Oh no! Bring up your oh, trash! No. Oh no. Next up, crossword. Top prize, 50k. Oh for two. First one's a star. Second one's a star. Third one's a coin. It is 848 in the PM. We've been fishing for five hours now, which is 
Typically a full day for Sam, which is fine. But she's not packing it in. Well, I am. Well, she might be closing her eyes. Oh, oh, oh. This fish might actually bite. Oh boy, here we go. Giant marks going back and forth. Oh, he just went away. Oh. Oh. I thought he was going to eat for sure. He was chasing it up. Good morning. It is 7.46. And we're going to catch a big walleye this morning. Oh, that mark was all over me. Man, there's not been a good interaction with the fish yet. Huge blob, oh my goodness. He's rising up to look at you right now. He's, oh my goodness. You got scared of the live minnow. Oh, he's coming back. I think he's gonna hit yours. Check your drag, tighten it. Go, 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 go. More? Okay, that's good. I'll take your hand off it and just get ready for the bite. Yes! Yes! Take your time. Nice and slow. Okay, let's check your drag. Okay. It's heavy. It's heavy. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Things are rolling. We're going to turn this light up a bit. We have been waiting for a bite. This has been our first bite. Just hold tight. Yeah, there you go. Okay, just hold. Let's see what that fish does. Oh. Is the exposure good? Everything's good? Man, we have been waiting for a bite. Waiting, waiting, waiting. So lift. Don't reel it yet. And then slowly crank down. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Try to keep your line off there if you can. You got to get your line off there, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's big. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Slow, lift, just slow. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, oh, Sam, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Kate. We're going to hold this fish in the water. Sam, you've got to hold this thing up. That is an absolute pig. All right, Sam, hold it up. Get under the belly. Look at that. It's so big. That's a 10 pound walleye all day. Okay, hold it up one more time. That is a well fed walleye. That is so fat. 28 inches and just over 10 pounds all day. He barely fits. 10 inch hole. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we did it. One bite! One bite! Ugh. Could you believe how fat that thing was? No, that was so big. He was so heavy. Oh my goodness. So heavy. And that's the only fish that has actually like... Bit properly. ...interacted with us at all. And he was humongous. <laughs> I didn't think he was that big and then I grabbed him and it was just like, what is going on? I know you've caught a longer one, but that was just... So by far your biggest that was yeah. over 10 pounds all day i wish we i wish we weighed him was that worth sleeping on the ice yes it was i feel good about that <laughs> show me the tiny jig that got it done i know i've been preaching these small jigs and that little jig is what got it done with a live minnow wow prime time sam doesn't believe in prime time prime time that's the beauty of sleeping on the ice is you know so often it's easy to capitalize on the evening bite because you stay out a little bit later but the morning bite is the toughest for me i have such a tough time getting up early but if you're sleeping on the ice it makes it so much more attainable so i don't think i mean camping on the ice is always the answer it is you know a lot more work but uh when it pays off it's pretty sweet you produced be quiet belt belt belt, belt. Oh, rod's bent, Sam. Oh boy, Sam. I think it's on. 
It's on. Okay, real slowly. Just real. It's ready to hook set. Just real. There's no real on this. What happened? Okay. Hand uh, crank. Hand crank. Just pull me with your hand, but you gotta be so careful. I forgot to put a handle on the reel. How does it feel? If he wants to pull, you let him do his thing. You kind of got to be the drag yourself. Oh, so I forgot. I forgot to put the handle on the reel. Rookie move. It's pretty big. Oh, he's hooked in the eye. Oh. Nice. Show me. Another fat little beauty for Sam. Look how tall that fish is. Hand lined it. <laughs> All right, you can put it back. Oh, oh. Okay, so I didn't realize that I never put a handle on this reel when I was setting it up. <laughs> so Jay's like, reel, 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 reel. <laughs> All right, we're going back to camp. Can you drive to Tim Hortons for me? Take a double double. Bagel with cream cheese. That's it. See that big mark? Holy smokes. What is going on? Got him. Woo! Got him. He ate it when he swam past right off the bottom. <coughs> oh. Oh, this is a big fish. Oh my goodness, those head shakes. Holy smokes. This is a big walleye, guys. I had it just pounding it in the mud and he picked it up. I can see him. I don't think he's giant, but I think he's pretty. Oh, baby. It's a laker. The lake trout. Yeah. <laughs> he's going, he's not ready yet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Is that crazy? Oh my goodness! He's here! <laughs> Not expecting that lake trout. Cool, nice little bonus. That fight was amazing. You violent little guy. That fish was cruising along the bottom super fast. I started pounding the mud and kind of just like held it there and he kept swimming past. I'm like, oh, he didn't touch it. And then all of a sudden I lifted it a little bit to see and then all of a sudden I felt it, like there's a fish like playing with it. Today we are camping in the Eskimo 650 XD. Um, you know, if I'm camping by myself or with two people, I think this is the shack you want if you're gonna do camping. That's all I gotta say. We're gonna fish for like another hour, hour and a bit. See if there's anything left in the morning bite. Hey, that one bite was everything, everything. When you say so, Sam. Yes. And then we'll uh, pack up. Everything, and... everything. We'll pack up and rip back home. Oh my. Okay. Oh my goodness. Come on. He likes it pounding in the mud. I'm just gonna keep doing that. You can't see my lure, but it's right underneath the fish. I'm just gonna hold it still. Holy yes! Yes! Smokes. Yes! Yes! Big walleye coming up.
This was on a homemade Jay's jig, actually. This was on the Midwest Finesse, the Ned style head. Just a nice big hook on it. I was using a full big minnow, dead. I chopped the head off. Whew. That fish I played with for so long kept pounding in the mud, I could tell that he liked it. Oh, this might be another lake trout. Yeah, that's another lake trout. No walleye runs like that. Oh, it's heavy. It is heavy. It's a medium sized lake trout or a big mama walleye. I'm nervous. Whew. All right, this fish, man, he's still way down there. He's gotta be a lake trout. This is the true grit, this is 38 medium. I'm glad I have this rod and nothing lighter because this fish is just taking me to town. This is good. We were getting close to pack up time, but there's still been a couple of fish cruising through. Come on, Jay. I'm taking my time. <laughs> this is a walleye. This could be the biggest walleye in my life. My wrist is getting sore. Oof. Nope. Shoot! Not too often I'm disappointed with a lake trout. Just gonna jump out of the hole again. Bubbles. He's mad. Oh, I'm gonna pop that jig right away. <laughs> if that was a walleye, that'd be a really good walleye. Nothing wrong with this trout. I know, I know walleye was the target, but this is a decent consolation. That fight was incredible. All right, going right back. I thought that was just a monster walleye when I set the hook. When I kept pounding the mud, he ate it out of the mud. Oh, well, I know what the lakes are like. I'll show you guys what I'm using. This minnow is just chowed. I'm going to hook it back on though. I think it's good for another fish. This is uh, one of those Midwest finesse jigs that you saw Sam and I pouring earlier this year or last year, I guess you might say. And it's just got a really nice, strong owner hook. That's why I had no problem putting a bunch of weight on that fish. And I just took one of our big live minnows, chopped the head off and that's what did it. Oh, I thought that was it. So on both of these rods, we're using eight pound braid, 12 pound floral leader, because obviously there's a chance for Lakers and you know, we're hoping to tangle with a bigger walleye, but well, that was fun. Sam, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on ice camping? I liked it a lot. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Um, let's give you a little tour. Uh, I've talked about this before. That's the Yeti Go Box. This is what I carry all my camera gear in. That can fit everything I need. So I have a backup camera with my FS5 in there. Um, I pack my drone, everything in that camera, all the extra cables. Uh, that's the cooler. That's where we packed our stuff. I like the soft set of cooler because it's not as heavy for trips like this. And then we got foam mats galore. And as you can see, we kind of just lay that slit down the middle for our holes. Uh, another addition were these little coat hooks. They're a little accessory you can get for your shacks and it's just nice for hanging your stuff as well. This, this mesh here is super nice for just stuffing jackets in. We put the tripod at the far end. Um, the flex, this is what kept us warm and helped us cook with that cooking attachment underneath there. But yeah, this has been our setup and it's been pretty, pretty cozy. Like this is a really wide angle lens so it can give you a cool grasp of the entire area. But if you're fishing around the clock, I don't think it gets too much better. Guys, we're gonna fish another 10 or 20 minutes. I know this wasn't the most uh, teaching intensive video, but you know, sometimes I just wanna go fishing and uh, I always wanna go just fishing. But uh, yeah, I, I, I wanna teach as I go. But sometimes I just want to, you know, focus on getting the big fish. And the focus was getting a big bite and we got a big bite. It was slow for the first uh, 12, hours. <laughs> 12 hours, 16 hours. It just shows you, you got to stay focused and your entire day, your entire trip can turn around with one bite. That was the fattest 28 incher I've ever seen and may ever see. 
Um, I mean, I don't, I don't guess weights too much, but I, I, I mean, I would say that was fairly confidently a 10 pound walleye. All right, Sam, what do you want to say as an outro? Pick up your trash. What else? Thanks for watching. Tell them to subscribe. Please subscribe.